What's up, ladies and gents? Hopefully everybody's having a good day, night, morning, evening, whatever it is, wherever you're at. Um, I actually just thought that this would be kind of fun to do th th this video on um, with uh, Frame Chasers now actually taking and uh, gonna roast Jay, Jay's two cents. Um, Jay's actually a really, pr a really pretty cool guy. I'll, I'll, I mean, I'll be completely honest with you. Personality-wise. Frame chasers need to take some advice, um, because I mean, he, he's starting to he's starting to attack people now. Yeah, he, in this video, he's going to talk about uh, Jay getting uh, going, doing whatever he's got to do to get clicks. Bro, you're starting to roast YouTubers that are bigger than you. Ta you you're like literally presenting. You're screaming that you need the clicks. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, th this video. Well, this video here is only 13 minutes and 35 seconds in so i don't have to stop anything i can just play it right through and pretty much give my two cents on different things in this video um so yeah here we go well let's go ahead and get started with some of our synthetics so 3d mark port royal <laughs> You know what? Let's do a test right now. Jay here is spreading what kind of misinformation our friend Jay here is spreading once again, shall we? Have you noticed that all of his topics are minimal effort, maximum click rate? My god, I can already tell how much of a train wreck this is gonna be. You seem to be the only one who enjoyed gaming. I am one of the only tech tubers that actually loves gaming. Yeah. Well, are they, I mean, yeah. That, that's, that's been known for a long time. That was my... One of the only tech tubers that loves gaming. Um, yeah, bro. Um, let's check something really quick. Uh, oh, he, he, does have, he does have a side arrow for it. Okay, see, usually people write down about their channel what their channel is about. So he's claiming he's a tech tuber, but in his about gig, there's zero here. Really interesting, huh? So now all of a sudden he's a uh, tech tuber, but yet there's nothing about tech in here. Hmm. But yet his channel's name is Frame Chasers. Where exactly do you um, go after frames? In games. Um. Now, if we take, we jump over to my channel really quick. Your channel, your channel. Here's my about me thing, or about my channel, which just talks about uh, two main hobbies: car audio and computers, overclocking, etc., etc., etc. Now we'll take and do YouTube again, and we will do this uh, such really quick. Two cents, and well, here we go. Here's his about gig. Here at Jay's Two Cents, we strive to create informed and intelligent buyer intelligent buyers when it comes to PC building, rather it be computers, co components, or how-to content. We will leave you will leave with more confidence in your ability to troubleshoot, fix, and build your next PC. That is. A tech tubers about me gig more or less for for uh, YouTube. That right there tells me that screams tech tuber because it's all about the tech. So with that being said, we go back to Frame Chasers. What's his about gig? Zero, nothing. But 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 but. Enjoy. What did he just say? Gaming. Wait. Have you noticed that all of his topics? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Minimal effort, maximum click rate. But listen to what he's about to say right here, though. My God, I can already tell how much of a train wreck this is going to be. You seem to be the only one who enjoyed gaming. I am one of the only tech tubers that actually loves gaming. Where did he become a tech tuber? I don't know. Just be, just because your subscribers give you money and you're buying things with other people's money and only talking about stuff that you know how to do to an extent 
doesn't make you a tech tuber. And now you go to the point where you're roasting bigger tech tubers. It's a classic sign of trying to get clicks, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Me, I just I'm, I just love calling out point blank bullshit, and that's pretty much why I'm doing. I'm starting to do videos on frame features as well. Gamers Nexus, he's he just doesn't care. He makes his videos. He says what he's gonna say. Same thing with uh, Devour. Um, and our, and uh, Jay even does too. I mean, Jay has roasted AMD and NVIDIA quite hard in the past uh, to the point to where he even said he didn't care if they did nothing with him anymore. Um, amazingly, you won't see Frame Chaser saying that. Um, but it's like in the last thing I did where, where, he was, where he was roasting about something when it came to that, where it came to that heavy set guy and the skinnier guy when they were talking with my video on the, on the RAM where he actually personally attacked the heavy set guy. But then he also did a video face to face in front of him, which I, th I believe I uploaded a video on that. I don't remember if I did or not, where he's actually kissing the guy's ass. The same guy he personally, the same guy who's personally attacking face to face, he was kissing the guy's ass on camera. Talk about a double sided two face. But yeah, let's keep going. Yeah, well, I, they, I mean, yeah, that, that's, that's been known for a long time. That was my biggest, that was why I started my channel, man. That was like my biggest gripe about tech tubers. I'm like, none of these motherfuckers play games, man. Since when does a tech tuber require to play a game? Somebody please explain that one to me. When is a tech tuber required to play a game? A tech tuber talks about the tech. When you're playing a game, what does that have to do with being a tech tuber? Really? If, imagine a guy. How, how asinine is this, dude? Imagine a guy pr pressing a benchmark button on Shadow of the Tomb Raider as, as a profession. That's their profession. Shadow of the Tomb Raider, benchmark, benchmark, benchmark. Imagine that guy giving an esports player hardware advice. Hang on, let's check this out real quick again. I'm going to open up his YouTube again. This is Frame Chasers, by the way. Videos. Hmm. Talks about playing games. He's one of the only tech tubers on YouTube that likes playing games. But I don't see him having any videos of games on here or streaming anything. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Imagine a guy who, in almost every single video, asks his subscribers for more donations, which he does, then takes and personally attacks a guy over his weight, over a ram because he doesn't understand it, and then when he's face to face with the person, kisses his ass, and then... I, I don't know. I'm kind of at a loss. I'm kind of at a loss for words for this one. So yeah, let's we'll keep going. I I, I was watching like five six years ago. I would watch this shit. I'm like, this is fucking insufferable, dude. It's all wrong. All of it. It's insufferable. Yeah, they don't play. You do any sort of benefit, dude. I dude. I bet you he fucking enabled XMP and it wasn't the stable, so he's probably getting dips and shit and didn't see it. So let's go ahead and get started with some. <laughs> Pick this up. He uses a ray tracing GPU benchmark. Oh my god, man. Jay, holy. This is pure comedy. There's no way. Is a. Um... Oh my. Now, let's keep in mind, people, I'm not sticking up for Jay here whatsoever. If Jay makes mistakes, he makes mistakes, whatever, whatever the case may be. But it's, it's, kind of, it's kind of on the whole bullshit realm, on the whole belt bullshit realm, I should say. I can't, I can't just let frame chasers go on this one. He's calling out Jay, so it, it comes back to being a gig of, if you can dish it out, you take it back, okay, so you want to call out a bigger YouTuber who's, who's actually got a team who, who actually makes a living doing this by roasting him in your smaller 
smaller than him, and you're saying he's doing what he's doing for clickbait or clicks. What in the hell are you doing right now? You're doing what you're doing for clicks. On my end, I don't do nothing I do for clicks. I care less about clicks. Realistically, that honestly, the ones who hate on my channel and the ones who hate on my stuff help my channel out more than anything. So yeah, if you think you're gonna, if you think you're hurting me, every time you click back the comment, or every time, yeah, every time you click back the comment or run your mouth, you're helping me. So yeah, thanks for trying to hurt me but helping me. Gotta love the ignorance there, and ignorance means lacking the knowledge. God, he does it with a straight face. I, did, I swear to God, whoever... He just said he does it with a straight face. Look at Jay's face there. Does that look like a straight face? Not really. I mean, I really, really don't know what kind of face that looks like, but it doesn't look like a straight face. Writes this guy's scripts or whatever, or has his video ideas. They do that shit on purpose to trigger, like, nerds. He, they must know that's a fucking joke. Like, it's so funny, dude. There's no, it's so funny. It's a, a benchmarking tool that's designed specifically oh for, like, God, God. I mean, sure, This guy you... is a marketing genius, 100%. Marketing genius. Number, but it, it's basically... How's he a marketing genius? Jay literally just said Port Royal on 3D Mark is a benchmarking tool for... Uh, GPU Just drag racing. Freaking, freaking. I want to make sure I got hit what his stamp was fully. Oh, like it's so funny, dude. There's no it's so funny. It's a a benchmarking tool that's designed specifically oh for like GPU God. drag God. racing. I mean, sure. All right. Well. Yes, and yeah, uh, 3D Mark Port Royal, just like any other benchmark on on 3D Mark. Well, depending on the benchmark, some benchmarks are CPU bound only. Some benchmarks are GPU bound only, and some benchmarks combine them both. Uh, this is all for three D Mark. Um, in the case of Port Royal, Port Royal is GPU bound and it's ray tracing. It will slam your GPU uh, harder than anything you'll ever slam it with with ray tracing. It will make your it will make any GPU out there scream when it comes to ray tracing. Point blank. This guy is a marketing genius, one hundred percent. And here we go with Frame Chase saying the guy is a marketing genius 100%. Um, how is that the case? Outside of, not, outside of leaving out Port Royal is a ray tracing benchmark. He literally is doing what a tech tuber does, what a legit tech tuber does. He's telling you what the benchmark is for. It's meant for GPU drag racing, and in this case, ray tracing. Marketing genius number, but it, it's basically just about genius. Oh, somebody got him. This uh, musician, J. Key guy, yeah, I fucking got him. That's the top comment. So you know what? You know um, what's good to see? It's see. I go to show you how much he doesn't even know how YouTube works. The only reason why it's the top comment is because he's the last person to comment on it. You could literally have ten comments that are all in within an hour time period. The most recent comment in that hour time period is going to be the top comment. Who doesn't even know how YouTube works in here he is going to speak about it. Seems like the J audience, like the normie of the normie of the normie, are starting to get educated a little bit. Look and comment. That gives me a little bit of hope. Good. So this guy's shenanigans aren't going to last forever. Fuck yeah. Well, maybe they will. Maybe they won't. But you're bullshitting. It'll last forever either, dude. Just, just. just. Stop, man. At least people are picking up on it, right? I'm surprised he didn't remove this comment. This might be the dumbest video I have ever seen on TechTube. At 14714. There's no way to remove this comment. Yeah. This might be the dumbest video I have ever seen on TechTube. Hmm. Interesting. Now YouTube is TechTube. Interesting. So you're going to rename a multi-billion dollar company. Love it. I love this dude. I really do. At fourteen seven four. There's no way. This is so dumb that I refuse to believe that he didn't do this on purpose to generate some controversy. Maybe his clicks were down or something. Super. At forty eight hundred megahertz stock speed. Yeah. So his PC's unstable. Yeah. So he was using XMP voltages and is literally unstable. That's why JDEC works and has the highest fucking FPS, dude. Needs on the Trident. 
was fastest in 1080. Perfect example of if you don't know what you're doing, you shouldn't own a PC. Yeah, you're one to talk one here, Frame Chasers. I mean, on Borderlands 3, you're ta you're looking at a, gra a graphics or GPU benchmark, gaming benchmark, which gaming benchmarks are trash to begin with. They're is no no two no two benchmarks are the same. I don't care which it is, rather it's gaming 3D mark, uh, Sun Bench does not matter. No two benchmarks are the same. So, although yeah, I don't get why Jay's using graphics uh, GPU results talking trying to talk about uh, system RAM. It's whatever, but for frame chasers to try to dog on them on this I mean this whole graph gig thing to me is whatever it doesn't make no sense but it's whatever by 5 F dude this guy is the second largest tech tuber on YouTube that is a false statement right there Jay is not the second largest tech tuber on YouTube which I'll prove that right now See, we got. Uh, let's see who I got down here. We got. This is gamers. There's gamers nexus right there at two point sixteen million. There's Linus right there at 15.5 million. Oops, did not mean to do that. I want to stay in YouTube to do it. And there is JS2 cents at 4.1 million. So, so, so. So far, right now, yes, he is the second biggest one, but here's where it's gonna come into play. Here's where the difference is about to come into play big time. Just because I show you, Frame Chaser doesn't know his ass from a hole in the ground on this one. Here's Devour right here. Uh, subscribers, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Come on. Oh. Uh, no, that's no work. No, it's Lumin Luminati. I apologize, man, if I'm still, if I'm saying your name wrong. But Luminati for uh, Lumini. I, I apologize. I can't pronounce his name. 10.5 10.5k subscribers. 10.5k. Linus Tech Tips Gamers Nexus. Where where the heck is it? I had it before. Where the heck is it? Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. That, that's the one I was looking for. Tech Quickie. So we've got. Jay's two cents right there, four point one million. Got Linus Tech Tips at fifteen point five million. Then he got Tech Quickie at two point seven million. Those are the, those are a few of the biggest names I can think of. And I'm gonna pull up uh, Gamers Access again really quick. Now what I'm actually going to take and do is pull this up on Notepad. Well, not really Notepad, but Tech Quickie. Yeah, I know I spelled it wrong. I don't care. Four point twenty-seven million. Four point twenty-seven million. Linus. Linus is at 15.5 million. Jay's two cents is at 
and luminality is at 10.5. L U U M I. I I know I got his. I'm L U U M I. Yeah, I got it right. That he's at 10.5. Those are, those are four of the biggest ones that I can think of off the top of my head. So I'm gonna grab the phone really right quick. There you go. According to Frame Chasers, oh, I'm also gonna put Frame Chasers up here as well. He's at 30k. According to according to what Frame Chasers just said, and I'll and I'll replay it back so you guys can hear. It. He says Jay's two cents is the second biggest YouTuber on is the second biggest tech tuber. According to this, Linus is number one. Uh, Luminati is number two. No, my, my apology. Linus, yeah, Linus is number one. Luminati is number two. Followed by Tech Quickie, followed by Jay, followed by Frame Chasers. So, uh, Jay, actually, it looks like it, off the, quickly off the top of my head, or no, off this list here, Jay is number three, not number two. So, Frame Chasers can't even get that one right. Uh, put this back up here. With that being said, get rid of all these now. Largest dude. Now, somebody says again, Jay is the second largest tech tuber on YouTube. I just proved it to you. No, he's not. He's the third. This guy is the second largest tech tuber. On YouTube. Nope, he's not. Let that sink in for a second. Let it sink in for a second. Like he just said, he's wrong. Jay is not the second. I just did the research right in front of you guys to give you guys the proof. Let that sink in. This guy gets sponsorships. You're sp you, get, you get sponsorships as well, so what... You get sponsorship as well, and you're wrong on information you put out, so what is your point? You're pulling a double standard now. Perfect example of it doesn't matter what you know, it's all about the influence that you command. You can be the dumbest motherfucker on the planet. As long as you demand an audience, doesn't matter. It's crazy the world we live in, man. It really is. Now you know it's crazy and you know why those guys do as big as they do is because if you watch any one of those videos, unlike Frame Chasers, they're not always asking for donations and et cetera, et cetera, crap like that. They're not always asking for donations. A lot of them spend their own money. Jay spends his own money. Linus does. Gamers Nexus does. Um, they all spend their own money. Yeah, they do get donations, but they, they're not consistently asking for it. They're not begging for it. When you have to consistently ask for something, you have a problem. Um, they all spend their own money as well as I spend my own money. The only difference with me really versus all of them, I don't get donations. I don't want donations. That simple. I don't depend on YouTube for my living. No disrespect to none of those other guys though. But the only one I dis the only one I have the least amount of respect for is Frame Chasers. That's point blank. You don't have to have any expertise whatsoever to to be successful. All right. So he's saying you don't have to have any expertise at all to be successful. All right. So being that he's specifically targeting Jay here, let's see. Um. Frame Chasers. Let me ask you this: What has Kingpin? Vince Lacito from EVGA went as Kingpin, the man who led the field in overclocking and GPUs, etc., etc., the man who led the field for God knows how many years. Nobody could touch him. How is it that Jay, Jay that he went to Jay, or he was willing to go to Jay, and he went to Jay, and Jay had him on his channel, as well as Jay went to him. Apparently, Jay knows what he's talking about because last time I also checked, um, Jay was also on. Uh, Jay is also on 3D Mark. Well, this is way back when when both Jay and Gamers Nexus jumped in uh, XOC, which is Extreme Overclocking with Ellen too. Um, 
Jay took Jay took records with older stuff. He took records with with Kingpin right there. He took records point blank. So uh, I am quite sure Jay knows a hell of a lot more than you about this man. I mean, he he actually had the, the one of the top guys in the industry at the time. Well, I still, my opinion, he still is a top guy, but he had one of the top guys in the industry respect him enough to actually be with him in person to share that knowledge of the tech and the fun. What have you had? Nothing. Yes. Like, uh, it's, it's wild, wild market, dude. It's really odd. It's wild. The fact that at 48, one, what resolution are you running? If you're running 1440p or higher, it is very unlikely. You know what? Let's do a test right now. This. Let's just see, because I'm curious now. What kind of deals we can right. Video, dude. <laughs> Fucking fantastic. I love that shit, dude. He's like, he's like, I'm going to farm these idiots for another five minutes. Let's go on Newegg and look up some fucking deals. There are five, 16 gigabyte it, DIMs. It, it, you know what's, it's fascinating because um, he, he treats his videos like a live stream almost, right? He just like does whatever the fuck he wants like for 20 game. minutes. Right, finding eight gigabyte DIMs are actually... I can't watch that shit, guys. Good Christ almighty. What do we have here? We're at five, five point... What are you really doing right now? You're actually treating your video like a live stream. Come on, man. You're doing pretty much exact. You pretty much do the. You, believe it or not, when you did your RAM video, you did the exact same thing Jay's doing. When you talk, try to talk about the different uh, about the same RAM kits with the different timings. When he personally insulted the guy towards the end of the video, you did the exact same damn thing, dude. Again, a double standard. He can do it, but it's not okay for somebody else to do it. Talk about ignorance. Six gigahertz. Stock a thirteen nine hundred KS stock. 7200. Let's do this to uh, JDEC 4800.